Hi guys and welcome to Tech Paste. In this video, we're gonna talk about a new update that was applied in Windows 11 for the Photos app. As far as I know, this update can only be found in the dev channel of the Windows Insider program for Windows 11. But if you are on the beta channel or even on the main release, these new updates should launch pretty soon on other versions of Windows 11 as well. But for those of you who have the dev channel version of Windows 11 installed, I'm gonna show you what is new in the Photos app. And to be more exact, what is new in the new editor from the photos app as you'll see we have a whole bunch of new options a few new tools that we can use so i think this is very interesting and in this video i'm going to show you a brief of what you can do with this new editor from the photos app for those of you interested the photos app that i have installed on this computer is the version 2021 2.1120. this is basically the latest version that you can find in the windows 11 in the dev channel and let me show you what is new here i have this windows 11 wallpaper here and i'm going to click on this this button which says edit image where I can use the keyboard combination control plus E. I'm gonna click on it and this is the new editor from the photos app. First of all we can talk about the bottom toolbox that is now a bit changed and now we can tilt pictures by a tenth of a degree and in the previous editor this only worked on an entire degree at a time so we can do this very interesting tilting using this new toolbox and I think this is really really interesting in my opinion and could be very useful in some cases. Of course we have the options to rotate the image to 90 degrees or rotate to 90 degrees clockwise. We also have the aspect ratio options to crop the image. If you want to use this, you can use it. Maybe you want to crop the image to upload it on Facebook or Instagram, I don't know, or any other websites. So this could be very useful. You have a very wide area of selection from 9 to 16 to 4 by 3 to 1 by 2, 2 by 1 and so on and so forth. This is really, really nice and could be really useful. And now you also can flip the image horizontally and also vertically. In the old editor, you were only able to flip the image horizontally, so I think this is a really nice addition. And of course, now you can rotate both left and right, and in the old one, you could only rotate in the right side. In the left side up here, we have some new zoom controls. We can zoom into the image using this button, and here we will also have some info regarding the amount of zoom that we applied, the aspect ratio, and so on. We can also reset this. This is really, really nice. In the center, we have the crop tool. Of course, we have the adjustment where we can do a whole bunch of of editing to our photo, including the light and color, brightness, exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, vignettes, saturation, warmth, and tint. Basically, you have a budget Adobe Lightroom, if you ask me. You also have some filters that you can apply. You can auto enhance your image, which is an interesting thing. And also, you have some presets that you can choose from, and also the intensity with which that preset or the auto enhance tool will apply that preset. And you also have the new option, which is markup, and you can do some drawing here. And of course, you can use different different tools here that can help you highlight some areas a bit better. Talking about the adjustment section, we now have sliders for all of these options and also the clarity, red eye and spot fix options and sliders have been removed. And regarding the filters, we have new filters and some of the old filters were removed from here. I think that is really good. And if you didn't notice yet, these buttons have been moved up here. You have save a copy or you can save it or cancel. I'm just gonna save it and basically it will completely replace my image. So basically, this is the new update for the Photos app, the new editor from the Photos app. I think this is a pretty nice update and I'm looking forward to hearing from you in the comments down below what you think about this new update and let me know if you've used it or if you are enrolled in the dev channel of the Windows Insider program. If this video is useful, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.